tonight, we are learning more details about a Colleen private track coach who admitted to sexually assaulting a 17 year old in June 2017. Now we know there were other claims of assault made against 56 year old Carrie Sloan during his 20 year military career. Channel 6's Cole Johnson joins us now with more details. Hey Cole. On Tuesday, Sloan pleaded guilty to transporting a minor with intent to engage in criminal sexual activity back in June of 2017. The prosecutors say while investigating that crime, two other women came forward detailing accounts of Sloan assaulting them in the 1990s while they were all in the military. According to court documents in the first case, the commanding officers found sufficient evidence and probable cause, but chose not to prosecute. In the second, probable cause was also found, and Sloan appears to have received a non-judicial punishment for false official statements and indecent assault. Disturbing details uncovered after Sloan's 2017 arrest. Harry Sloan is a private track coach who court documents say works with young athletes out of his Harker Heights track club. In June of 2017, Sloan took one of the athletes to Tulsa to visit with college coaches. And that's where court documents show the alleged victim reported Sloan having sex with her twice. The first time she says she was asleep and pretended to stay asleep. The second time she told them to stop and asked to go home. In the documents, the girl says she called her mom to say what happened, and that's when her mother called the police. Sloan was federally indicted in this case last October and originally filed to dismiss it, claiming the indictment didn't indicate what criminal offense involving sexual activity he intended to commit. Sloan also claims he was not provided with adequate notice of what he was being accused of and that he couldn't properly prepare a defense and believes the case was not subject to meaningful scrutiny before the indictment was issued. Then on Monday, Sloan ended up signing a plea agreement, pleading guilty to transporting a minor with intent to engage in criminal sexual activity. In this agreement, it says he intended to have sex with the victim without her consent and that he did in fact have sex with her without consent. He will be sentenced on June 26th and is facing up to life in prison and $250,000 in fines. For more on this story, head to our website, KCNTV.com, or download our mobile app. Leslie.